All right, time now is 636. We're going over to Roger and Mike. All right, thank you very much, Mel. Good morning, Mike. How are you, sir? I'm all right, Roger. How are you? I am doing okay, uh, but boy, oh boy, what an interesting time right now. The market, so, looks like they're going, okay, we can work with this. Yeah. Which is kind of frightening, it I think. Well, th th this was remarkable, actually, Roger. When we, the headlines crossed uh, at around 7.30, 8 o'clock last night, mm -hmm. initially we did see a sell-off because the algorithms look at the words that are in these headlines and the computers were trading. And markets, North American markets were closed at this point, right? Yeah. But we still get an indication of, of the reaction. And initially it was, okay, here we go with uh, the next phase of this Middle East crisis. Then uh, things started to calm down because... It, the time of day that the uh, missile attack was launched, uh, early morning, so less casualties potentially. Mm -hmm. and, and also, uh, Trump uh, tweeting, all is well, curious calms to some extent. everybody down. You know, trying to diffuse it, uh, maybe a de-escalation. So, uh, remarkable to see right now, Roger, we've got the Dow futures at break even. The S&P futures higher by five points. Price for oil doing next to nothing after initially spiking by over 5%. And uh, adding into all this now, Boeing stop, stock is down, GE is off because yeah. of this uh, horrific crash of the 737 in, uh, in Tehran. Uh, Orig originally they said mechanical, now apparently uh, Ukrainian officials have backed off on yeah. that, so we'll have to wait and see. And Reuters is reporting that the Iranians are not ho handing over the black boxes to the Boeing company. Is there a diplomatic uh, issue here? You know, the, the, it's all the circumstance right now. this would happen in Tehran to the Ukraine at that time when everything else was going on, uh, it, it's in, you know, the, it's, it's the, it raises so many questions. Yep. And, and right now, because of Boeing's previous issues with the 737 MAX, this is the 800 series. It's the next generation plane. It's a new plane. It was reportedly just re inspected two days ago. It's got a really good track record. So lots of so questions. So there are just, it, it's too early. Um, yeah. But, you know, the market does what it does. Right now, Boeing's down 2%. Again, subject to change. All right, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm sure yeah. there's lots ahead in the next uh, few days for sure. Indeed. Michael, thank you very much, sir. Have a great thank day. Thank you. You too.